Welcome to Curry TV. This is the night before Valentine, so I want to make my Valentine a special one. So I thought of making edible flower bouquets. So for that, I have some fresh strawberries. When you choose your strawberries, choose look for the big ones. So some good shape to make a bud. That's what I'm, I looked for. So I got all this washed and um, I dried them with a paper towel. So there's no moisture on this because if you have any moisture, your chocolate is not gonna look so smooth. So therefore, our strawberries are all set to go. The colors of chocolate that I'm gonna be using, this is milk chocolate, red chocolate, white chocolate, and milk, uh, dark chocolate. And the reason you see two white is because I want a pink in there. And how do you make your pink? You can take a few of the red, add it to your white, and that becomes pink. Now, after this colors are all melted, we'll be decorating our strawberries or flower buds with different designs and you could use sprinkles if you would like or I can show you different techniques of how to present it in a cute way so and you of course you need some bamboo sticks or skewers so I got the different sizes and it, it all depends on what kind of um, bouquet you're creating if you want a big one a small one it's all up to you so I got that ready you will also need a uh, floral uh, foam to stack or stick your skewers in. So without further ado, let's get our show on the road. Okay, so first off, we need to skew all our strawberries. And so for that, you just insert this um, skewer stick right in the middle of our strawberries. This is one bud, all right? So we're gonna do just like this on rest of them. In the meantime, you're gonna pop these into the microwave and in 30 seconds interval, we're gonna mix them and make them into a nice smooth consistency. All right, I'll show you how that looks like. So what I have done, I used a chopsticks to mix our candy melts. So these are, there's pink, like I mentioned, that's white and red combined. And this is dark chocolate candy melts. And this is our milk chocolate. It's all to a fine, see that? It's very, very fine. Um, you don't wanna cook uh, your strawberries. So if, it is, if your sauce is too hot, the strawberries becomes really, really soft and becomes very soggy. I don't think anybody will enjoy that. So therefore, get to do a 30 seconds interval for each of them and get it into the consistency that you are comfortable with. Look at this. They're very, very smooth and it's easy to dip and set it aside. So I got pink, I got the chocolate ready, and I got my whites ready. Now I have 20 strawberries all ready to go, and it depends on how much or what kind of designs are you using, the quantity of candy melts. This is half of the packet of red, and so I wanted to share that so you guys can just visually see how much I'm using it. So first, you take one of yours, and you dip it in. Make sure you dip it all in. Hold the stem of it and drizzle off all the excess. We do not want any of the excess. And if you are not comfortable enough to place them on the foam, you can take a cookie sheet and place them right directly on that. And just like that, our first bud is ready. And it's gonna dry and it's gonna be stable on that foam. Yeah, so we're gonna do the rest of them. Hold the end and make sure to cover all of it. It depends on which designs that you're thinking about. I'm actually going for a tulip and roses here. So I'll show you that. Our first batch I chose to do pink and white and I just made them into a tulip bulb. So that's what that. And the next set that I'm gonna be doing, I got a few of them ready, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So this is the pure milk chocolate and this is the white one. So the reason why I use chopsticks is it's very easy to draw lines. So in case if you want to draw lines, you can do many ways, right? Like so on one side, this is just a temporary so that I can show you the designs. And you can choose which one you want. So you want this thick lines because your pearls has to stick onto it. So let's open our pearls and onto a plate. then those will stick on and then you can just 
shake off the excess. And then you can place it on one of these facing, the pearls facing up. You can do all around or just like so and place them on a sheet like this. If you were to have a party or even to decorate, you could do that. Make sure you get all of it covered and shake up all the excess. Okay. And then choose one of your sprinkles, which it could be white or red. So let's do contrast. Let's do red. And you can just sprinkle as much as your heart desires, making them feel so extra special by this extra step. See that? It's beautiful. Okay. And then you can use same thing. Either you've got to let this one dry because our the glue, the sauce, is still wet. So if you put it right into the um, muffin tins or cookie tins or whatever tins that you're using, it will stick onto it. So you gotta put it back into your styrofoam. We'll take one of these guys out. Take one of them here, and let's drizzle a milk chocolate. So the milk chocolate, make if in case if any of them gets hard, just pop it back into the microwave and then just for 30 seconds, okay? And then you're gonna go in and out, in and out. If you wanna do the zebra lines. And you can do all the way around. There's no right and wrong way in this. It's all up to you, what you like the most. Okay. Just like a pink rosebud, just about to go. So I got the same colors in a Ziploc bag and I got some white here, not the milk, the white. So what I'm gonna do is pour it into a small Ziploc bag. We're gonna snip off at the tip of this and I'm gonna do that for all three colors. So I got pink, red, and chocolate. And now it comes the, sorely the fun part. Sprinkles and everything that anybody can do, right? Let's give it up for a next twist, okay? That's what we're gonna do. And make sure you to snip off just a tiny bit because we don't want such big um, effect on our strawberries. So we got the red, I mean the milk chocolate here. In that, I'm just gonna pour in some of the chocolate. Okay, make sure there's enough. Don't be stingy, go for it. And put that to the side. And then on top of that, I'm going to pour in the pink. Okay. The darker color should come at the bottom. So I feel I felt like that the black or the chocolate should go at the bottom and just a bit of red. Now what we're going to do is make the swirly effect. Effect. Take your strawberry, get ready, and dip it in. When I dip you, dip you, dip, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. and you just pull it up. Voila! How does that look? Very tempting. So I hope you enjoyed spending time with us. These are a few varieties that I have created for you guys. I have the desiccated coconut, I have the sprinkles, the stripes, uh, pearls, all those varieties, assorted varieties are on my cake tier. I have also prepared a um, gift box here for them. So there's more, many varieties that I have put together and you can create as much as you want. How little, how less, that's all up to you. So these are few that I have created. I also made my own bouquet. In my bouquet, there is the marble effect. So I hope you enjoyed spending time with us. I hope you will use one of these recipes to make your Valentine a special one. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.